Well, greetings again, everyone. I'm glad you could join me this morning. This is Monday, September the 14th. Hope you had a good weekend. And we are continuing to have these visits. Uh, we started them a few months ago so we could get together during this pandemic time where uh, visiting was limited. And so we are just wanting to spend some time together in God's Word just to encourage each other and to keep on going during this time of crisis. So let's get into the Word now. I'm glad you could join me and uh, we are now getting into mid-September almost and uh, into the fall months and kids are back at school. Things are getting back to a relative normality and we're hoping that things will open up soon. So if you can turn in your Bibles to the book of Philippians, we're planning to do a little series this week on Philippians. So Philippians chapter 1, we're just going to read the first 12 verses, or first 11 verses. So let's start with verse 1 of Philippians. It says, Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all God's holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers, for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you since I have you in my heart, and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. Verse 8, God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, verse 9, and this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. What a wonderful introduction to this epistle. And of course, this is a prison epistle that Paul wrote while he was in Rome. And his circumstances were not very good, but this epistle is often called the epistle of joy. And in spite of his circumstances, he could be joyful in the Lord. And the verse that I'd like to draw your attention to is verse 6. And this is... An encouragement for all of us right now as we struggle through this time of uncertainty, this pandemic, uh, this is a great encouragement. And so he says this in verse 6, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God is not going to give up what he's doing as far as the work that he's doing in your life and in my life. He is going to carry it on to fulfillment and completion and until the day that we see him or that Christ comes back. And so this is a great reminder that God is with us and he is going to complete the salvation that he started in our lives when we became Christians, when he saved us. And we have that wonderful assurance that God will continue his work. And I think that applies to a lot of different areas, and not just to our own lives, but to the work of the church, to our church here in Napanee, Ontario, that God is going to continue his work, and he is going to complete it. He's not going to give up on something that he started. And so that's just... A good reminder, I hope that encourages you, and sometimes we feel when we go through hard times like this that 
God has given up and God has left us and he doesn't really care anymore. And yet God is still on the throne. He is still at work and he hasn't gone anywhere and he's not going to give up. He's going to keep on working and keep on completing the salvation that he started. And so may you be blessed through that and may you be encouraged today and keep looking up. I don't know specifically what you might be struggling through or dealing with, but God knows. And so keep looking to him. Keep trusting him. So let's pray together and we'll just commit our time and we'll send you off for the day. So let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you again for each person watching. I thank you for what you're doing in each of our lives. And we are mainly speaking to Christians, to people who have experienced salvation. But if there is someone who's watching today who hasn't accepted Christ as their Savior, we pray that you would save them, that they would accept Jesus, that they would come to faith in him and believe that he died on the cross for them and that they would start this journey of salvation that you are promising here in this passage to complete. So Lord, just encourage our hearts today. Help us to realize that your word and your mercies and your promises and your grace is new to us every day. And you can come alongside us and you can meet every need. And we thank you that you are a God of completion. You finish what you start. And so we know that you will finish the work that you have started in us. So I just pray, Lord, that you'd bless each one who's watching today. Bless our church family. Bring us back together on Sunday rejoicing and celebrating what we have in you. And so we commit this day to you now. In the precious name of Jesus, our Lord, amen and amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday, bright and early. Take care, and have a great day. Bye-bye.